But now we're talking about Manchester United. They came to Wembley as well and surprised many by winning the FA Cup and beating Manchester City. Uh, and that was uh, one in the neck for Guardiola and uh, the City boys. But it was United's day. It's United's Cup. So after this end of season review, uh, seemingly going on, reportedly being conducted inside Manchester United, the result of which we'll know at the end of this week, will it result in Ten Hag staying? Will it result in Ten Hag going? Alan's a big Manchester United fan, one of many who's uh, calling in 03717 Simon's sticking to it, Alan, that it's time up for Ten Hag. Do you agree? Not at all. Absolutely not at all. I, I respect Simon's opinion, but he's way off beam here. Good. Tell me why. Last Tell season. him why. Well, last season, United's four best players, Shaw, Martinez, Casemiro, Rashford. Two have been injured all season. One's missed half the season injury and the other has been poor. And Rashford's been abysmal. And then the injury list. We've had 16 different centre-half pairings and 30, I think it's 35 different back four pairings. And (laughs) Simon himself, Simon himself has mentioned that the players turned up on Saturday. So it's obvious that when they turn up and follow these instructions and play with the intensity he has, they can do it. It's not the coaching, it's the players' mentality and the injuries and the dropping form. What a good point. And uh, I, I have to say, Simon, I'm with Alan on that. When they get it right, they get it right. But he hasn't had the opportunity to get it right with the same kind of players that he wants to include in his starting eleven. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand the dynamics of it, but these are the challenges you have to overcome as a manager. I've listened to his post-match press conferences. I don't get the feel. I, I think there's fairness in what his, his observations are, that United are better than some of the outcomes we've seen this season. If they had a squad of players that were fully fit all the time, they might have had better outcomes. My question is, is where does Ten Hag take you? It's all well and good saying in the here and now that things can get better because we've got situations that have been un, 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 been difficult for us. I don't see him taking you to the promised land. So with that in mind, I look at it and go, well, what's the point? What's the point? Mm. If we have, a, if we ideologically disagree, then I respect Alan's opinion. If he believes that Ten Hag is going to make United a force in the Premier League again, I don't think he will. Do you, Time will tell. You, well, on that very point, Alan, before I come to you, Stephen, but on, on that point that Simon's making... Uh, do you have a potential Premier League winner in Eric Ten Hag, Allen? Yeah, I believe so. Not Maybe not next season, but I believe so. He's changing the culture. And Simon's point about not having anything to do with the youth is absolutely ridiculous. If you watch the under-18 team this season, they're an absolute blueprint of what he did at Ajax. And they, they've won the treble, the under-18s. He's had everything to do with that youth system. You saw him at the end of the Carabao Cup last year. He grabbed all the Cormier men who wasn't involved there, and he said to him, this will be you next year. This will be you. And it, and look what happened on Saturday. It was. Did Did you go into the FA Cup final, Alan, thinking yeah, you'd I win did, it? Yeah, I had a great day. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was on a coach for the United fans and, and about probably 10 of them picked 2-1. I went a bit over the top. I picked 4-0. But I'm <laughs> ever the optimist. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, I like you. Great call. Thank you for that. Stephen, are you with Alan and what he's just said? Big United fan yourself. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, I'm, I completely agree with your previous caller. Um, for me, I've been probably the most ardent Ten Hag in all last se- uh, all the season, mm. and I-, I saw enough when I don't remember the exact month it was, but when Martinez came back for a run of about it was when Hoyland scored in about eight games in a row. I saw enough from United then that led me to believe that we could be competitive in league football, not just cup football. Another point I wanted to say also is if. Ten Hag hadn't came to United, I could almost guarantee that all the media would be linking Ten Hag with Juventus, Liverpool, Barcelona, the Bayern job, all these jobs. I think Ten Hag would still be top of that list right now if he never came to United. That's a very good point. Stephen, do me a favour, stay in the line because here's John, another United fan. John, good morning. You're taking Ten Hag. Should he stay? Good morning, Jim. Good Good morning, morning, Simon. No, no. I um I'm afraid I agree com- entirely with all of Simon's points and um sorry yeah he's a great, he's a nice guy Eric but you know I think we absolutely must change and we must have someone who's capable of delivering success and I don't believe that Ten Hag is that and regarding the injuries I would have a one question on that Jim why have we had so many injuries so there must be something wrong at that club with, with the health and fitness programmes or whatever's going on. I'm sure that Sir Dave will look at that. So um, at the end I'm of this week's four... season review, John, you think Ten Hag should go? I do. And I'll give you four people who I think would do a better job. Go on. OK, let's go alphabetically. Uh, Conte, 
brilliant. Um, a bit temperamental. Just a bit. Danny yes. Scott. Who else? Uh, yeah, but but he's a winner, mm-hmm. right? And then I know one's going to surprise you, Mourinho. He's a winner. I like Mourinho. I know Simon does too. So you go back to Mourinho. Yeah, you're not impressing me. Carry on, John. Uh, okay, Pochettino, obviously. Pochettino, okay. I think, he, I think he would be best with the younger players. And who's your Sullivan, fourth? That uh, has to be too cool. Tuco, okay. So Stephen stayed on the line. Stephen, there you go. Conte, Mourinho, Pochettino and Tuco would all do a better job than Ten Hag. What's your take, Stephen? No chance. Absolute four also runs. If you've got Ten Hag, who's already won two trophies in two seasons, with the injuries as well, well, it's, it's Pochettino. Like, we're getting linked to bringing Chalabar. He was getting linked with Fulham in January. And now we're, all of a sudden we want to take him. He's going to make us better. No way. Ten Hag is the best suit for United. John, stay in the line. Stephen, you, you too. Simon, who's right and who's wrong? I mean, John is citing four examples of individuals he thinks should be in the in, in the shortlist to replace Ten Hag should he go. Conti, Mourinho, well, Pochettino, Tuco. Well, I mean, Tuchel comes with the problems that we know Tuchel comes with in terms of his inability to work with anyone and play nicely for any period of time. Conti's going to Napoli. Mourinho's been and done this dance. And who's the fourth one? Uh, Pochettino. Pochettino. Uh, I think he's, I think Pochettino may give you better outcomes than Ten Hag, but I don't think he takes you to the promised land. And, and, and going back to this point about how good United have been, I've seen them this season when they've had a full team out, when they've played teams like Fulham, Away at Old Trafford, when they've had their their, their standard centre backs in position, and they've gotten beat. I've seen them when they've had a better side out against Burnley, a team that can't beat a carpet, and they've drawn one all with them. I've looked at United over the season, so you can't just keep on trotting out this tripe that they've not had players you available. Expect, you didn't expect this this morning that we'd be talking about United post an FA Cup final win against City. No. You, you couldn't have expected and, and, that. And, and a group of people will pivot off that. I mean, the, the, the guy's t- turning around and saying that he expected Man United to win 4-0. I mean, how do, how do I take that conversation seriously? <laughs> John, Stephen, thank you uh, thank you very much indeed for that. Bef- before we go, Carl's just jumped on the line uh, and I think we'll finish with Carl. Carl, good morning. Ten Hag goes or stays? What do you think? It stays for me. I agree with the first caller. Um you can't say the injuries are an excuse. Look at Klopp when, when he won um, the season before last season. Look at all the injuries he had. And look where he finished in the league. You've got to get them. Yeah, I Ten agree. Hag. Ten, Hag. Ten Hag is a serial winner. He's won two trophies in two, two seasons. with a poor, let's, let's, be, let's be honest, it's a poor squad. Yeah. When, when, Simon says, when Simon says he's been backed, he's not been backed. He's, had, he's not had the right structure to be backed. OK, uh, I think Carl's just gone hands-free and it's, it's got a bit more distant. At the end of the day, Simon, whatever way this review goes, <laughs> there'll be an almighty debate about it. Those who want Ten Hag to stay, uh, those who thought uh, he should go. And like, like swing voters in, a, in an election, people, oh, only if they cut that will change our mind then. Look at the evidence before your eyes. The evidence before your eyes is that United have been, and I sit across the table from people that are far more knowledgeable and than me on football, not just because I'm being facetious about Sunus's observations, but because they do know what they're talking about and they do have a viewpoint. And I've uh, most people, with the exception of people that only say things in the media that they're prepared to say and say something different privately, think that Ten Hag is out of his depth at United and, and hasn't done a great job. I haven't met a football person yet, besides those that are playing their ambassadorial roles at Man United. But you don't bring trophy winning into the equation when you talk about this uh, Ten Hag uh, argument. If, if, if the blueprint for Man United is they're a cup side, well, bring it in. Of course it's not, Simon. Well, then that, then, but it's then, to win well, trophies. Well, OK. Whenever you get that opportunity, if, you don't end up the loser. If the blueprint for Man United is that they're going to be a cup team, then you're absolutely right. That argument is compelling. If your blueprint is that Man United are going to be a dominant force in English football and, and gain their, their, their seat at the top of the table again, yeah. then we'll have a different conversation because I don't think he ticks that box. Oh, Nana did OK in goal for uh, Manchester United at the weekend. One goalkeeper's disappointed this Good morning. morning Thibaut Courtois, once of Chelsea, um, Belgian goalkeeper of Real Madrid, disappointed, left out of the Belgian squad for the Euros. Just gone ill in 15. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.